yeah hi guys thank you for joining the session if you are viewing my channel first time please subscribe for other updates on machine learning and uh, deep learning okay today we will discuss more on python basics the first one is uh, shortcuts okay for example here a b d d okay what is a if you click on the line if you press a it will create new line above again click on the line if you press b it will create line below next uh, what is a double d click on the line if you press double d it will delete the complete line again click on the line if you press the double d it will uh, delete the line from the uh, lab directly okay the another shortcut select everything and uh, if you press the shift and open braces it will add the open braces and uh, close braces for the complete data okay for example if i want to add one more braces to the this one if uh, directly you can add with the uh, open braces then it will add open and close braces for the complete data okay the next one different types of uh, initialization okay here the first type of initialization x equal to 0 okay here directly we can initialize without uh, declaring the variables in python okay and then next if i want to initialize same data over uh, y and z so that we can use this type of initialization if i want to initialize pqr with the different different data so that we can use diff this type of initialization for example in the same line if i want to uh, initialize the different variables so that we can use this type of initialization for example uh, the next uh, next one is uh, print okay i want to print uh, uh, print this line for example i want to print all the data okay here i, I am mentioning the all the uh, x y z p q r s t u all the variables i am mentioning it here if i want to print the all the variables i am just running this command but it is only the printing the last value okay uh, for example i want to print uh, complete uh, information we need to use the print command print x y z p q r s t u if i use this uh, print command then it will print uh, all the uh, all the data okay x means here is a 2 yz is python yz is python next one is learn 54 and true learn 54 and true and 6 7 8 okay here i am printing everything uh, if you using of the python uh, print command Okay, then uh, we'll be displaying everything if without uh, mentioning the print command only it will display the only uh, last one okay the next example okay uh, here uh, i am uh, taking the different uh, data types okay a b c d e are the different data types a i am initializing with the integer okay uh, b i am initializing with the float okay next c i am initializing with the some complex number okay next d i am initializing with the string and uh, fourth is the boolean okay here i am just uh, printing that all the types of the variables okay here uh, to understand we can initialize any type of data in any variable okay this is a uh, uh, one more uh, concept in the python okay next we'll go further next arithmetic operations for example uh, if i want to do any uh, 2 power 8 so that we have to use the double star 2 power 8 is 256 this is a one more shortcut for example here 2.1 plus 2.3 if i want to add two numbers so that we can use directly plus operator for example if i want to do a subtraction 10 minus 2 then 8 this is a subtraction okay next here uh, i am just i am planning to add the two strings okay just i am using the plus operator uh, in python it is directly adding in case of uh, c language we need to use the string operator okay uh, like concatenation something we need to use then only it will add but in case of python the similar uh, items it's directly adding and uh, and providing the output results a b c d it is adding it is concatenating the two strings if you use the plus operator next uh, if i want to uh, add this uh, a b this is a string data this is the uh, normal uh, integer value if i want to add this to it is throwing error why because it is not able to add the string and integer okay if i want to add uh, integer and string we need to convert the integer to string then only we can add the both a b thousand okay this is uh, another way method of adding the integer values to the and integer and string to the together okay for example this is another type of print method my name here i am just uh, uh, giving the open and close braces and i am and and also open and close braces here i want to assign the first braces with the ram and the second braces with the trainer 
so that if you print the output my name is Ram I am your trainer okay it is printing likewise okay the next concept is uh, if uh, this is a tuple tuple list and array will discuss in this uh, session okay here uh, t just I am initializing a different uh, type of variables the integer and string and boolean okay here I am initializing different types of variable with t okay this uh, if I check the type it, it is it is telling that it is tuple here I am not uh, using any open and close braces that's why it it will treat it as uh, tuple okay for example t of 4 here we need to understand the index as like in the array here this is a 0 index 1 2 3 4 fourth index likewise here we have the negative indexing also this is a minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 okay the positive indexing start from the left to right the negative indexing right to left okay the positive indexing 0 to max here the negative indexing start from minus 1 to max value okay here uh, t of 4 means 0 1 2 3 4 okay it is printing the true it is a correct okay next one t of minus 4 this is a minus 1 this is a minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 is 7 okay it's printing 7 it's correct okay next uh, this is a way of indexing accessing okay if i want to access if i want to display the multiple uh, values on the screen so that we can use t of 0 to 4 okay here t of 0 is 2 and uh, this is a start position here i'm mentioning the end position here end position will treat it as exclude this is a start position uh, is a 2 3 2 7 6 trini and fourth will be excluded from the list okay 0 to 3 it will display 0 1 2 3 it will display fourth will exclude here in this case uh, normally in the tuple or list or any case okay we the first one is the start second one is the end position end is a exclude okay it will display 0 to 3 fourth is exclude okay next i want to display the negative indexing part uh, here this is a start position and this is the end position this is a exclude here in the negative indexing this is a minus 1 is a start it is a uh, starting from here minus 1 is a start and it is uh, uh, expanding until minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 here minus 1 is exclude then it will display only 7 6 trini onto the screen okay minus 1 is the start position minus 4 is the end position again minus 1 is a exclude if i exclude the true then it will display remaining only three uh, elements okay for example if i uh, in the tuple if i want to overwrite the data here i want to manipulate the tuple data it's not allowing see here a t of 4 this is 0 1 2 3 4 t of 4 i am planning to write with the false here tuple does not uh, support item assignment okay here uh, this tuple support only the just to, to read the data we uh, it, it will try to initialize only once it will treat as enum like uh, it will treat it will take the only uh, only once and after that we have to, we can read the data we cannot write the data in the tuple only the that is a difference between tuple uh, and we'll discuss about the uh, list see here why we are not able to write here we don't have any APS to write in the tuple if you click on the direct of t it means it will display the order what are all the commands in the tuple okay next here if you see here only count and index it will count the number of objects and also what is the index we can access in the tuple okay next if you go to the list okay here we can modify the list and uh, and also we can able to read the uh, list okay that is the difference between tuple and list okay in case of list uh, here we need to use the open and close braces here i am using the same data but i am uh, just using the open and close braces if i check the type it is list previously if i if i am not mentioning any open and close braces it will treat as uh, tuple in case of uh, open and close braces with like array it will treat as list okay in the list we are assigning the different types of variables like a string uh, boolean and integer values i'm assigning in case of array we used to uh, um, uh, only uh, initialize only similar type of uh, elements okay that is the difference between uh, tuple array and list
okay next is the l of 3 means this is same indexing 0 1 2 3 is trini okay this is the correct next if i want to display l of 1 2 3 okay here this is a 0 1 2 3 3 is exclude it will display only 7 and 6 this is a uh, just example okay if i want to display l of minus 4 this is a minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 is 7 okay minus 4 is 7 yeah it's correct next one is a uh, minus 1 to minus 4 this is a list if i want to display the list then uh, we have to rerun again one minute uh, again we need to rerun from here this time want to reinstall this complete data okay here uh, just i am mentioning the minus 1 to minus 4 this is the minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 okay it will display only these three minus 1 is exclude okay in, the, in this case of negative indexing minus 1 is a start position minus 4 is a end position again minus 1 is a exclude okay it will exclude the true it will display the remaining three elements okay this is a uh, just negative indexing okay here i am just modifying the data l of 4 i am just initializing with the false okay uh, l of 4 i am trying to modify instead of true i am just writing to the false so that it, it's taking the data see here if i want to display 276 trini here false my data i am going to change with the false it's changed directly okay just i am displaying that l uh, my data is changed here okay here in case of uh, list we can able to modify or read the data and uh, write the data there in case of uh, tuple only we are able to read the data okay here uh, i am planning to just assign the uh, y to x okay here uh, i am just modifying the y of 4 see here again my y of 4 i am modifying with the true then finally i am getting the true value here see if i modified the y i, I am directly modifying the value of uh l here directly okay uh, why because here uh, y equal to l i am creating here the same data see here same address will be accessed by the both here y variable and l variable accessing the same data so if you modify the y value automatically this l value will be reflected if you see here my the last data is 276 trini and false now i am assigning y of 4 i am modifying the y it is reflecting in l if i display the l automatically my last value change to true see here it is uh, if you create the if you assign the values it will uh, it won't create the copy it will uh, take the only the uh, duplication okay this is a assignment operator for example if i want to add the two list in the list for example uh, list one is 10 20 30 list two is 40 50 60 if i want to add this two list see here it is adding at the last this is the l1 is 10 20 30 10 20 30 and l2 is adding at the end 40 50 60 okay here i am not doing any uh, addition operation okay if i want to do addition operation we need to use arrays okay here import numpy as np okay here this is a library we need to import if you uh, start working with the arrays okay here i am defining my alias name with np okay this is a alias name dot array this is a l1 i am taking from here okay this is a l1 i am taking from here this is a 10 20 30 l1 np is my alias name this is my array second array is l2 l2 is 40 50 60 okay i am just copying the data to the a and b okay here i am doing the addition a plus a1 plus a2 okay it will create the array here it is adding 10 plus 40 is 50 20 plus 50 70 and 30 plus 60 90 okay uh, if you want to add uh, add the data or multiply do the if you want to do the multiplication we need to use the arrays okay that's all friend thank you for joining the session thank you